Welcome to another installment of In Real Life. I'm Charlotte Yarraconi, and I get the privilege of spending time with interesting people across Microsoft, hearing about their passions, both personally and professionally. Today, I am joined by Aaron Rifkin. Aaron, welcome. Thank you. Before we begin, can you tell us a little bit about what you do at Microsoft, what team you're in? Yeah, I'm in developer relations and I lead the docs.microsoft.com team and the Microsoft Learn team. That's not really what we're gonna talk about today though. What we are gonna talk about, and I was trying to decide how best to introduce you. So I, I think the right way for me to kind of sum up your passion and, and how you spend your time outside of work is, is to really frame it up and say, if there was a zombie apocalypse, uh, you would be the first person I would BFF to kind of survive. So for example, I think you've actually climbed Mount Rainier three times, right? You've summited three times. That's correct. And that's not an easy mountain. It's not the tallest mountain, but it's not an easy mountain. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about your hobbies. Well, I mean, pretty much anything that's outdoors. So I mountaineer, I backpack, I hike, I camp, I paddleboard, I golf. Um, if it gets me outside, I will absolutely go out and do it. And where's the most interesting place that you've been? Because you've actually traveled yeah. a lot of places throughout the world, doing mountaineering, doing hiking, really just, just doing outdoor survival, right? So I've been to 47 countries, but I would say probably the most unique one was Greenland. Um, and Greenland's really not touristy at all, so it's a lot of hiking and kayaking and very off the grid experiences. So um, I was able to go pretty far north in Greenland and go where there was no running water, no electricity, um, and be able to spend time out on the polar ice cap backpacking. So that was pretty cool. So tell me, what have you learned about yourself as part of doing all these journeys and, and there's some amount of like grit and determination to go out there and do it. And um, you have to be okay with the fact that challenges are gonna come up and you have to figure out how to problem solve through them because it's going to happen inevitably. Erin, thank you so much for taking time to tell us about your passion. It's really interesting. Um, and for our viewers, I hope you join in uh, for the next episode of In Real Life coming soon.